issue has arisen because uh, a request for a subpoena dosis tecum and a subpoena testificandum against uh, Chief Justice Corona, his wife and children and son-in-law uh, were requested and the chair ruled to deny the request. Uh, the prosecution indicated its uh, conformity with the ruling. Nevertheless, a member of the chamber of the Senate objected in effect to the ruling of the chair and so I, uh, the chair asked the member of the Senate whether he wanted the House to be divided. And the chair has decided to divide the House in order that the matter be decided by the uh, Senate uh, sitting as an impeachment court. As I said beforehand, I'm not the court. The court is the Senate. And so, therefore, I will now ask for a division of the House on this issue. And so I will ask the Secretary to call for a vote. All those in favor of the ruling of the Chair say yes. Not in favor. And those not in favor of the ruling of the Chair say nays. Yes. Okay. What is the <laughs> about raising of the hands. <laughs> All those in favor of the ruling of the chair, raise your hands. Please count. Okay, count. Okay. Those not in favor of the ruling of the chair, raise your hands. What is the result of the voting? So, 14-6... 14 in favor of the ruling of the chair, 6 not in favor. So the ruling of the chair is sustained, and so it stays as a ruling of the Senate. Thank you. Mr. Mr. Leader. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, uh, yesterday, January 16, 2012, the Council for the Chief Justice filed a motion to disallow appearance of a private prosecutor, praying that the Honorable Impeachment Court disallowed the appearance of Mrs. Mario Bautista et al. as private prosecutors, there being no compelling justification for the same. So, Mr. President, I move that the presiding officer rule on the motion. With due respect to the uh, defense, uh, the chair rules that uh, the uh, request is not in order because the rules of the House allows the presence of a private prosecutor uh, to assist the panel of prosecutors designated by the House of Representatives. It is a matter of rule and a matter of proceedings. So ordered. Mr. Senate President, please. The gentleman from Iloilo. Yeah, may, may we be allowed, uh, Mr. Senate President, just to make a very, very short manifestation. Proceed. Um, a few minutes ago, uh, Mr. Senate President, Your Honors, after the explanation by the Honorable Senate President, the prosecution submitted to the ruling with respect to the denial of the request for the issuance of subpoena. Uh, however, with due respect to, uh, to the Senate President, uh, we just want to put it on record, uh, Your Honors, that the prosecution take exception to the statements, uh, specifically that, and I quote, the proceeding is akin to a criminal case, and uh, another one is that it is in the nature of a criminal case. Uh, with due respect again, uh, Mr. Senate President and ladies and gentlemen of the Senate, it is the position of the prosecution that the impeachment proceeding is not akin to a criminal case, nor is it a proceeding in the nature of a criminal case, but our position is that 
the impeachment proceeding is sui generis or it is like no other. And uh, in this uh, regard, may we be allowed to uh, submit a legal memorandum uh, with respect to this issue, uh, Your Honors, please. You Thank may. you. Uh, but I would like in, uh, to, uh, to read into the record the reason why the chair has uh, stated that it is akin to a criminal case. Just for uh, the record. An impeachment case is not a civil case, nor is it a criminal case. It is sui generis, a class by itself. But it is closer to a criminal case than a civil case. In a civil case, the parties, both the plaintiff and the defendants, defendant, are normally private parties, persons. And the subject matter of the case is usually the, a legally demandable and enforceable right which carries no punitive sanction. In a criminal case, the direct complainant is the people of the Philippines, and the case invariably invo involves a legally punishable conduct which carries a punitive sanction like loss of freedom or imposition of economic burden. In an impeachment case, the people of the Philippines are only indirect complainants. They de delegated in their constitution the exclusive power to initiate all cases of impeachment. They delegated it to the House of Representatives composed by their elected representatives. An impeachment case carries a punitive sanction which is limited to the removal from office and disqualification to hold any public office under the Republic of the Philippines by the official charge. The criminal character of an impeachment case is exemplified by the fact that the person charged has to be informed of the charges against him, that he has to plead guilty or not guilty to the charges, and that, quote, the party convicted, this is section 37 of the article 11 of uh, the 1987 constitution, shall nevertheless be liable and subject to prosecution trial and punishment according to law. I just want to put that into the record. That is the opinion of the presiding officer. Majority uh, floor leader. Yeah. Your Honours, uh, may we just uh, ask uh, what's the source of the material uh, just read by... This is my, the product of my own mind. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Your Honour. Majority floor leader. Thank you. Mr. President, we are now ready for the presentation of evidence by the prosecution. The prosecution may proceed. The prosecution, Your Honor, is ready to present its evidence, and as provided for in the complaint, we shall start presenting evidence insofar as Article 2 is concerned. May we know why uh, you are changing the sequence of your articles of impeachment? If Your Honor, please, it is a basic truism, insofar as the practice of law is concerned, that a party presenting evidence has the power to determine what would be the order of presentation of evidence. In the complaint, there are eight articles pertaining to impeachment. And insofar as Article 2 is concerned, it deals with the sullen, with the ill-gotten wealth of the Respondent. And this issue has been the subject of discussion before the media. No less than the respondent has stated that he is only that he owns only five properties. On the other hand, there has been an allegation that there is a claim. Wait a minute, Counsel. 
the, chair, the presiding officer is asking, may you please state why you are changing the sequence of your articles of impeachment? Yes, that's why may I be permitted to complete. Firstly, your, your Honor, I have stated that the party presenting evidence as a basic rule has the right to determine what would be the order but of precedent. But the court can also uh, state otherwise. Yes, Your Honor. Correct. That's why we are justifying why we want to present evidence on Article 2. Secondly, Your Honor, there has been, doc, there has been so many news releases in so far as the shall end and ill-gotten wealth issue are concerned. And therefore, it would be the best interest of the parties, as well as the public, for us to present evidence in so far as this issue is concerned.